Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. This lab guide provides step-by-step -step instructions for deploying policy-based assignment in this lab using one DHCP server and one client computer. Policy-based assignment in DHCP allows administrators to assign devices with IP addresses from a specific IP range, which can be useful if you need to group devices together. For example, you might want to assign all iPhones an address from specific IP range. To configure policy days assignment, we need to open DSAP Management Console. For that, I'm going to click on Start button. Let's click on Windows Admin Tools. And let's double click on DSAP. On DSAP Management Console, I'm going to expand our server name, which is a member-server01.mustbenoob.lab. Let's expand IP version 4. Expand our DSCP scope and let's click on policies because we want to configure policy based assignment for our existing DSCP scope, which is DSCP scope 1. To create a new policy, we need to right click on policies and select a new policy. Specify name for your policy, which will be here for all virtual box VMs. And in the description, I am adding DHCP PBL lab guide. Let's click on next. Under configure conditions for the policy console, we need to click on add button. Under criteria, as we are going to use MAC address as a criteria for this lab guide. Under operator, we need to make sure that equals is selected. Under value, I am going to specify 080027. And here I'm also going to select append wildcard. Let's click on add. So you can see under list 080027 asterisk is listed. Now why we are adding this? Oracle virtual box use 080027 as the prefix for all MAC addresses that is assigned to all virtual machines. And that's why here we are adding that MAC address range to match our policy requirement. Let's click on OK. If you want to add multiple conditions with AND or OR options, that time you can by again clicking on Add button. If you want to add it, any existing condition, that time you need to click on Edit button. And as you know, Remove will remove existing condition. For this lab guide, we are going to use only one condition and that is the width MAC address and range must be 080027. Let's click on Next. Now here you can see our current scope IP address range is 192.168.1.15 to 192.168.1.253. I want to create one separate IP range from our existing IP address range. That's why I'm specifying IP address 192.168.1.200 to 192.168.1.253. And that is the total 22.6% of our existing IP address range. If client match with our condition, then our DSCP server is going to start assigning IP address from 1.200 to 1.253. Let's click on next. If you want to configure any additional scope options for this policy, you can. But at scope level, already we are providing router's IP address, DNS server's address and our parent domain suffix. But to test this policy completely, I'm going to add one more DNS service address and that's why I'm going to select 006 DNS service. Let's select the checkbox and here I'm going to add our local DNS service IP address first. Let's click on add button. It is going to check whether DNS service is running on that IP address or not. Now here I'm also going to add Google's DNS server address which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Let's click on add. So if our client match with this condition, that client address will be configured with two DNS servers address, which will be a one of our local DNS server and other one is Google's public DNS server. Let's click on next and click on finish to create this policy. Now we have our policy on our DSCP scope over the DSCP scope one. Let's click on address list. You can verify we have a one client computer, which is Windows 10 PC. And currently this PC is getting IP address 192.168.1.15 because that is the first available IP address on our DSCP scope. 
Under unique ID, you can verify that this client PC's MAC address is starting with 080027 that match with our existing DSCP condition. In our policy, we have configured that if client's MAC address is starting with 080027, then this policy is going to apply on that client computer. Let's test this on our Windows 10 client PC. Let's right click on the start button and let's open Windows PowerShell. First, I'm going to run command ipconfig slash all to see the current IP configuration. Just press enter key. Here, as we can verify that client is getting IP address 192.168.1.15 from our DSCP server with IP address 192.168.1.11. And important thing is here that we have to not is our DNS server address, which is only one, and that is our local DNS server's address 192.168.1.10. Now I'm going to run command ipconfig slash release to release the current IP address. Let's press enter key. And now I'm going to run command ipconfig slash renew to get a new IP address from our DHCP server. Let's press enter key. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, client is getting IP address 192.168.1.200. Why? Because the policy which we have configured on our DSCP server is applying on our Windows 10 client PC. The reason is pretty simple one because this client's MAC address is starting with 080027 MAC address range which we have specified in that policy. And also I want to run command ipconfig slash all to check the DNS server's address as well. And under DNS server's address, you can verify that now we have a two DNS server's address one is our local server and the second one is 8.8.8.8 .8 which we have configured on our DSCP server in this policy. So now onward, any virtual machine hosted by VirtualBox using this DSCP server will now get an IP address from the limited range which we have specified in this policy which is 192.168.1.200 to 192.168.1.253. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to configure DSCP using policy-based assignment.